Hey guys, this is Maddie. I'm here to talk about mitochondrial myopathy awareness week. So, for you to really understand this, you need to know what your mitochondria are. You should have learned in 6th or 7th grade science that your mitochondria are your powerhouses in your cells. Mitochondrial myopathy, also known as mito, is a genetic disorder that keeps the mitochondria in your cells from working properly, so your body doesn't have all of the energy that it needs. Why do people get mito? Well, the people who have it didn't catch it from someone else. It isn't contagious like a cold or the flu. You can't catch it from anyone else. It's just not physically possible. Mito is a genetic disorder. That means it is passed on through your family, usually through your mom. I like to tease my mom about how she gave me my mito. Is there a cure? No, there is not. Not yet, anyways. However, there are many scientists and doctors working on finding a cure, and until then, there are many vitamins, supplements, and medicines for people to take so that they can have more energy and keep their mito from getting worse. Other ways that I work on conserving energy are using my wheelchair, checking my temperature and blood pressure, and trying not to run around and get too excited all the time. How common is mito? Well, it isn't all that common. According to mitoaction.org, the odds of someone in the U.S. being diagnosed is about 4,000 to 1. But I can think of 7 or 8 of my friends that have mito right off the top of my head. Even though mito isn't very common, that doesn't mean it isn't important. Instead, we should think about it even more and try harder to find a cure for the few people who actually have the disease. Mito Awareness Week is from September 15th to the 21st. The whole point of the week is to, you guessed it, spread awareness of mito. So find a friend or maybe someone in your family and tell them what mitochondrial myopathy is. If we all tell just one person we know, well, eventually every single person will know about mito and we might be able to find a cure. Wouldn't that be amazing? Every 15 minutes, a child is born who will develop mitochondrial disease by the age of 10. I happen to be one of them. I think people never really think about what it's like for the people who actually have mito. I mean, they just kind of assume that since they're not going to have it, everything's okay, even if it's just okay for them. But for the people who actually have mito, it's like, you enter a totally different world, and even if you look back, you know that you can never go back to who you once were. And it's real. I just think back to how hard it was when I was diagnosed with my death, because I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know what was going on, and I didn't know what was happening inside my own body, and it was kind of scary just to think that all this was happening and I didn't know why. So now that I'm older and I do understand what Mido is, I want to work on telling other people and spreading awareness so that when they meet someone who has Mido or if they get Mido or if they just meet someone who's different in general, they can maybe understand them a little better and see them for who they really are, not just for what's going on in their cells, but like what's in their brain, what's in their heart, or how they feel and what they do and their emotions. Where can people go for more information? Um, well, there are a couple websites you can go to online. There's mitoaction.org, and there's the umdf.org, and then there's also a Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash mitoawarenessweek. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Bye.